Hello, my name is Melissa Whitmer. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a Canvas quiz question using multiple answers. So first, let's take a look at what that type of question can look like. Here is a college algebra test. And on this particular question, the students are seeing a polynomial function with possible equations um, that could represent the graph. And it says there could be more than one correct answer. So I'm gonna edit this question. You can see this is choosing the multiple answers option. And this entire question is a screenshot that I grabbed from a test um, that I had created. So I uploaded just the image for this and that's what's displayed to the students. Now, let me go ahead and show how to build a question like this. So you'll create a new question and from the drop down box option, select multiple answers and adjust your point value. And then you would upload your screenshot that you have saved or type in the text for your question. Once you have that entered in, you'll have different answers that you are able to enter in. And what's interesting is they can all be possible. They can be uh, multiple correct answers. So with the multiple answers option, um, the question will show a checklist next to each answer and the student must select all the answers that the instructor indicates are correct. So um, to show you how I built these answers in each answer box, you know, you could do A, B, C, D, but um, I actually typed in text also to kind of match up with those different equations. Um, and this one had two correct answers. It had the first one and the last one. Um, it had A, B, C, D, and E as options. So I had to add enough answers to make sure that all of them typed in. So let me go ahead and build those answers. I'll just kind of copy and paste those over and then we'll preview to see what this looks like for the student view when they're answering a question like this on a quiz. What's nice about this is it is automatically graded. Um, and so you can easily see when you're grading if they selected the correct ones or not, you can give them partial credit. Okay, so I need to make sure that I have, you know, these possible answers, but I need to select the first one and the last one only to be correct. So sometimes you have to unselect those. In the uh, general answer comments, you can see that I have uploaded a screenshot of my answer key there. So I just took those are that's a great way to kind of if very quickly grade these quizzes if you upload your screenshot of your answer key as you go with each question. Oops, I don't wanna do any of that because I got the HTML, I'm gonna just copy that over. So yeah, you can go to that general answer box. The students will not see that unless you release the quiz answers in your quiz settings where you check the box that says to show the uh, correct answers to the students. So if you don't check that, they will not see that part of the answer key. Okay, so I'm gonna drag this up and save. After you've saved, you have the option to preview. Again, make sure that you don't have your proctorio settings on for the quiz when you preview. Okay, so let's go down and just take a look at that question. So here is the multiple answer. So this time, instead of where the multiple choice had little uh, bubbles that they could click and they're only able to click one of them, on this, I have boxes and I can actually check all of them or some of them. So, you know, the students have to really know which one is the correct answer. Notice that that answer box doesn't show up at all when it's displayed. And so I can, you know, do that and submit that particular answer. So using multiple answers is possibly a way that you want to set up a quiz question on a test. Thanks for watching and see the MAP instructional site for more tutorial videos on how to create different Canvas quiz questions.